Hi there! Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, and this is your weekly love letter from the dojo at naturalintuition.com, your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. This week in particular, Source wants you to make room. Make room. Our schedules are usually packed tight, as well as our rooms tend to be packed tight. Our bodies then as well reflect that being packed tight. We are all so sardined into our lives. Yet when it's time for us to be creative and to have a lot more flow, we desire more abundance, more love, more relationship, more feeling, right? More life. We desire that in order to allow for there to be more, we have got to make room for it. Now, the guides are saying the reason why you pack things full, right? We take a Tetris approach to <laughs> our cupboards, our rooms, our closets, our drawers, um, as well as our plates of food. The reason why is because it's a scarcity mindset. It's difficult to have an abundance mindset when we're just stuffing, stuffing, stuffing things together. There's an expectation, the guides say, behind that of, mm, I have to do it all. I have to make sure every single bit is used or else, right? I'm not doing enough, okay? It could also be a sign of protection and padding, right? So think of someone who is a hoarder, for example, that we're invoking hoarding energy right now. If that's you, sending love and healing your way. The hoarding is only a physical reflection of emotional padding, right? So there's usually at the root of the hoarding, grief, trauma, or an intense emotional vulnerability that we're padding and nesting and protecting against. It's essentially creating armor and physical stuffing, right? So stuffing the environment instead of necessarily the body. We do this through emotional eating, on the other hand, when there is a certain feeling of vulnerability or openness that huh, is above our ability to handle, we'll eat it down, right? Or we'll smoke it down, we'll drink it down, we'll avoid it down, or we'll pack our tasks in so that we don't have to uh, confront that sensation of openness and possibility. One of the key parts to being able to receive more is to be open. You cannot receive with clenched hands, right? So I'm hearing the oracle cards calling in the energy this week. It's goddess guidance. And the goddesses are coming forward in particular, they said, because Receiving has to do with the flow of divine feminine energy through your life. Whether you are male or female, there is yin and yang, light and dark, male and female, in all that is in the universe. But we're talking specifically about making room and opening to receive more. So let's take a look. Goddess says, what do we need to know right now about making room? This week in particular. Oh. Mm, past life. So Isis is coming forward and saying that this situation has to do with a past life issue. So the vision that I'm seeing of the past life that's coming up in particular has to do with being, and bear with me, being crushed as the way that you died. There was a sense of crushedness or something um, flattened you or crushed or crushed a vital part of you 
that induced the death in that former lifetime. And in this lifetime then, the echo of that earlier in your life was being emotionally crushed. Uh, perhaps it's through rejection or a very big disappointment that really shocked you to the core. I'm feeling like a crushed energy in particular. Be kind to yourself. It's time to let that crushed feeling go because it's in the past. A great friend of mine, Paul Martino says, if you brought something from your past into the present moment, it's going to affect you, right? Anything in your past that happened that you're blaming is something that you brought here, is what he says. So I would say this week in particular, make room. If it is physically, right, rearrange the space to reflect that, all right, I'm cleaning house, right? You can do this with your physical space, um, getting rid of things in your closet, etc., that don't really speak to you anymore in the drawers or getting rid of unopened mail or just trash and clutter, getting rid of that, letting yourself know I'm making room. Or perhaps emotionally, it might be some time to do some forgiveness work and to let go of what you've been dragging from your past into the present so that you have more emotional space to receive more of life, more of love, and more of abundance in this time frame. Now, send me an email back, comment below. Let me know what's coming up for you around this subject of making room in particular. And subscribe on YouTube so that you get your love letters first. And as always, if you need assistance with moving through your process of making room, send me an email. Sensei Victoria Whitfield at gmail.com. I'm happy to support you. And Paul Martino comes from relationshipdevelopment.org. I love you and Stacy so much. They're incredible. Go check them out. And until next week, I'll see you then. Ready for it? Bye! <laughs>